30-day fishing challenge episode and today I'm super super stoked because Sam and I are gonna be doing some musky fishing today I didn't think we'd be able to do any of this 30-day challenge because it's been so hot but Sam reached out and said he has a spring-fed Creek right which is keeping it cool yeah. for a little bit longer this is the last day the last day for musky fishing it's mid upper 70s right now so it's that's about it for this Creek all right so we're cutting it close but the fish will still be all right to catch I mean, this place is absolutely beautiful. I'm out on the Maverick. He's out on his Sea Ghost. Yep. Sea Ghost. 130. 130. We're going to be doing some smallmouth musky fishing today. So, what do you think is going to happen, man? What's the deal? So, I think what's going to go on with the muskies is obviously it's a lot of shallow water we're going to go through today. And that's where we'll do most of our smallmouth fishing. But every eighth of a mile or so you'll find a deep hole and that's where all the muskies gonna be so there we go once we get to those deep holes we'll approach them uh, very stealthily and try not to make any noise or show ourselves to the fish and hopefully we'll get one or two of them that sounds good to me i'm super stoked i can't wait but we're gonna start heading down this creek hopefully get into some musky also sam has a guide service blueridgemusky.com blueridgemusky.com Go check that out if you want to try this. Come out with Sam, get on a kayak, catch some musky. Smallmouth too? Smallmouth too, yep. Smallmouth too. So after today's video, you're definitely going to want to hit this guy up and go out. So we're going to get on the water. Wow, it is clear. Yeah. That's awesome. You know what I just realized? I should probably put a bait on. Yeah. That might be a good idea. That's so what I'm going to start off with today. Small churning waters, bucktail, little guy. Sam's hooked up with the first fish of the day. Little guy, smally. Is this the kind of area you were talking about? You'd push water where you'd see him? So Sam was saying that last time they were here, they saw a lot of muskie in this push water, which is an area right before a set of rapids. So we're gonna see if we see anybody here. Throw the fluke around a little bit. Areas, <laughs> dude, that was awesome. He came out of nowhere and just hammered it. Smallmouth. Oh, uh, come here, buddy. Yeah, not bad. I'll take it. Awesome. There we go. First smallmouth of the day on a fluke. He came up and hammered it. I didn't even think he had it. He just swiped on it so hard and fast. See you later. Don't bite me. Musky back behind the, the wood. <laughs> Just spotted our first muskie of the day. Sam spotted him up there. Little guy. Is he coming? Oh, got him, got him. Musky. <laughs> Dude, that's so sick. Oh yeah, he's, oh, it's pickerel. They look so similar, <laughs> and definitely in the water. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> that was cool. I saw him hit that too. Yeah, I did too. That was I sick. Saw him come after it. Nice work. Pickerel. Oh. Awesome. That is the smallest of the Essox species. Looks just like a small muskie, though. Yeah, it really does. I mean, when you hooked them, I thought it was. And they got orange, reddish tail tips. Some of them have more orange than others, but pretty sweet. There it goes. Good work. What? How long have we been out here? 30, 30 minutes. Thirty minutes. Yeah. I've caught two. You've caught three smallmouth. Three smallmouth. Yeah. I caught a smallmouth and then a little pickerel. This is insane, by the way. It's like such a small, clear creek. Super rocky. Huge trees on both sides, mountains in front of us. Probably the most beautiful place that I've ever fished. And there's musky in here. That's it's, gonna, the, it's gonna get better when we start seeing the muskies. Awesome. We're gonna, um, we're gonna start flipping out when we see those. There's a nice little That's small a nice right small there. That's right there. <laughs> yeah. Let's 
something I've always wondered. I usually hear like if you see one, or they're pretty territorial, so they stay they kind of apart. Yeah. So is that just to like a small area, but generally they'll stick? They just don't have enough room to spread out. Uh, okay, I got you. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, look, there's another big one next to it, too. He's chasing it. Look at that. It is bigger. Another decent smallmouth right here on the fluke, just throwing up into the shade. Oh, right off the bank. Yeah, hammered it. Another decent smallmouth. Yeah, that was one. awesome. The one even bigger was chasing it. That yeah. was so cool. I was like, is that thing just absolutely a giant? <laughs> and then I saw the other one flash. Probably about the same size like as the first one. one. Like yeah, one I thought it was. And there was like one really big swirl. That was sick. So that's the hog sucker. That's what the suckers look like in here. Yeah. Got that like marbling. Mm hmm. That's awesome. That thing's been chewed, man. It's got teeth I can in see, it. yeah. Those are sweet. I really like that giant tail too. They're easy to work and they catch a lot of fish, man. Like you can hand this to someone that's never musky fished. Just tell them to cast away. it and steady retrieve. And just straight glides. Man. Yeah. That's like probably 90% of the muskies I've caught in the last month or my clients have caught have been on these. That's awesome. All right, guys. Well, we've been out for a few hours. Caught two really nice smallmouth. Sam's caught some smallmouth, a pickerel, bluegill. We've seen a ridiculous amount of fish. No musky yet. We're still on the hunt for those. But the water's super clear, and I think that they're just probably blended in so well we can't see them, or we just haven't been over any yet. But we still got a lot of the day left, so hopefully we'll run into them. The smallmouth are really fun in the meantime. Beats just casting. You know, we'll probably see one before we catch one just blind casting. So. Try Senko for a bit. I'm gonna switch it up from the fluke. I'm gonna keep this one though because I think this is still the only one that I have. I also bit this five inch Senko down to about three inch. Just gonna toss this around, drag it, hop it, let it go in the current. Keep our eye out for any musky. Got him! <laughs> that was cool to watch him eat it. Little guy. So I was letting this thing fall and stopped it by accident. Instantly turned him off. Oops, sorry, buddy. As soon as it hit the bottom, slurped it up. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna work our way back up to that deeper hole. See if we can find anything. Yesterday, not exactly what we planned. We didn't see any muskie in that super shallow, clear water that we were hoping for, but we still had a good time, caught some smallmouth, and it was an awesome float. Probably the most beautiful place that I've ever fished, ever. It was amazing. But that hole definitely held some muskie in the past. Sam said he's caught fish there, plenty of fish there, he's seen a bunch. So there. that's definitely something to think about in the sense of the migration of them, I guess, up yes. and down the river. Yeah, so they migrate up and down that creek, and we fished three miles of it. There's 80 miles more. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, they can scoot up and down that creek so easily, there's no dams to block them up, and when they want to move, they move. So we just didn't fish the right three miles, I guess. That's how it is, though. That's the way it goes. That's fishing, especially musky fishing, for me, at least. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're looking forward to tomorrow because we're getting off the water now and it was just awesome. It was a stupid day. Some crazy things happened. There's a lot of musky involved. There's some smallmouth involved. And it was just epic. It was insane. So make sure you watch tomorrow's video. It's going to be pretty sick. Make sure you go check out Sam's YouTube channel. I'm going to leave that linked in the description below. Make sure you go check out his videos and subscribe to him. I'm out of here. I'm exhausted. I have a three and a half hour drive, but we'll see you tomorrow.